you wanna know what I just clocked? This is actually my first Kali video ever. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> Let's get into it. Wagwan people and welcome back to my YouTube channel and if this is your first time seeing one of my videos a special welcome to you as well I do hope you stick around and subscribe In today's video as you can already see from the title I'll be giving you my review on the new release from Kali, the vanilla royal sugared patchouli 64 So if you'd like to hear my reviews on this fragrance, please continue to watch Welcome back my pebbles, so yes, Kaali released a new fragrance and people went crazy. Not me though, you lot, yeah. And the name of the fragrance is Vanilla Royal Sugared Patchouli 64 more than a mouthful that is a very long name a very long name and the 64 just means how many times they tested this fragrance to perfect it to their liking so this took 64 tries should they have done less or should they have done more hmm do i own any kaoli fragrances no i don't think so hmm. no look at me lying on camera i own the the one that comes in the black bottle elixir 11 yes i own that one but I remember I smelt it when um, Basha, me and Basha filmed that video when she was when I was guessing my fragrances. Was that last year? Yeah, and from she sprayed it then, it just, yeah, unfortunately, it just didn't work for me. I didn't like the smell of it, so it's somewhere in my house. I don't know where it is, but yeah, I only like 11, but as I said, unfortunately, it didn't work for me. Now on to Vanilla Royal. So I got this in the 10 mil because there wasn't a smaller sample size available or else I would have gotten that one. I'm always telling you people to test your fragrances, you know? Sample your fragrances before you blind buy the bigger bottles. And if they had a smaller one, I'd definitely go with it because I like to test before I buy a full bottle, do you know what I mean? And listen, call me cheap. Call me cheap all you want. I'm gonna say this, 23 pounds for a 10 mil to me, yes, to me, my opinion is a bit extortionate, you get me? Because there's hundreds of fragrances that I can get out there, 100 mil bottles as well for under 20 pounds, okay? So when I was buying a 10 mil for 23 pounds, I ain't gonna lie, I was so hesitant to press, you know, purchase now, but I'm doing this for you lot, yeah? But you know what? I don't know what goes on behind the scenes during production, yeah? Maybe the packaging or, you know, them gathering the ingredients and all that jazz. Maybe if I did speak to someone from the team, they can actually justify, you know, the price that I'm paying for this because they're going to be like, oh, we get our ingredients from here, here, so this is why it's expensive. But as I said, it's just my opinion. £23 for a 10 mil is super expensive. <laughs> I'm sorry you did not click on this video to hear me being a cheapskate. I'm sorry. God, forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not a cheapskate. I'm frugal, okay? I'm frugal. So, Vanilla Royal is said to be an intense take on their Vanilla 28. And the vibe of this fragrance is said to be boozy, bougie, and intoxicating. Thing is, I did get my nose on their Vanilla 28 because I do have the sampler set. Listen, I've had this for ages yeah so i did get my nose on it and i won't lie it's nice but i wasn't wowed do you get me um it's literally just your typical vanilla scent well duh it's called vanilla 28 cocoa but yeah and it also reminds me of bare vanilla by victoria's secret and i have a couple bottles of those so i didn't see the need to get a vanilla 28 if i already have bare vanilla do you know what I mean? So yeah, if I was supposed to from this one, because I know that they do have an updated one with the newer versions of their fragrances as well. If I was supposed to buy one from the lineup, I'd deja vu. I like deja vu because I remember when Invite Only came out and I bought that as well. First spray and I was like, no, this is not for me. Deanna came to visit when it launched and I was like, hey, do you want this? I'm not, are you wearing it, girl? I gave... Are you wearing it? I don't know if Diana is wearing it, but it wasn't for me. But as I said, from the entire line, if I was supposed to buy one, it would be Deja Vu. That's the only one from the lineup I like. Enough of the jibber jabber. Oh my God, I can chat. You guys know this. Let me stick to my script and let's get into reviewing this. So on first spray, the notes that take over for me 
are the rum and the patchouli. Hold on, you guys know. I love me some patchouli, you know. But the patchouli in here smells like camphor balls. You guys remember camphor balls? I don't know what you call them where you're from, but you know like muff balls or naphthalene balls? Yes, it reminds me of camphor balls. The note lineup said sugared patchouli, but the patchouli isn't sugared on my skin because I'm smelling the raw patchouli in its natural form. And in here, it's more antiseptic, it's more medicinal, and it's slightly minty. It's like the sugar wanted to be mates, but the patchouli was like, nah, I'm a one-man band, I don't need a supporting act. Do you know what I mean? And for the rum, it's not golden. Well, not yet. Hold on to that. Have you ever taken a shot of Ray and Nephew Overproof Rum? You know that heavy, concentrated, 63% volume rum? Have you ever taken a shot of that? Listen to me. That rum will knock you for six, yeah? That's the rum in here. And for those that drink Ray, you know that it turns you into a dragon. Yes, a fire breather. So the smell of the Ray and Nephew, if you've ever smelled it, is the opening in Vanilla Royal. So it's a tad bit, I don't want to say screechy i want to say like a tad bit in your face does that make sense then the oud begins to creep up it's not an overpowering oud it's still there faintly but yes you can smell the oud in here so between the camphor patchouli the heavy concentrated rum and the oud i don't know what happened but guys the opening for vanilla royal is giving me raid yes bug spray or if you don't know what that smells like think about the you remember back in covid time when they were giving out these hand sanitizers you know the heavy the strong smelling horrible one yes put some patchouli and that's the opening for vanilla royal yes shall we move down to the middle yes yes so after the bug spray smell dissipates this is where i get the rose yeah i do love me a rose combo yeah and i can't lie the spicy rose in hair pairs beautifully with the oud and for like a split second yeah i'm not saying it's a dupe for a split second, it reminds me of my baby, Club de Louis Intense Woman by Armaf. If you haven't seen my video, I'll link it up there for you to watch. But yes, I'm not saying it's a dupe, maybe just 10%. Like, I just get away from it. I was like, oh, that reminds me of that. You get what I mean? Yes. Now, this is where I begin to smell some sweetness from the vanillas, but they're being stifled by the smoky leather. There's an abundance of different variations of vanilla in this fragrance. There's vanilla orchid, vanilla infusion, and vanilla sir absolute. So I was expecting an exceedingly gourmand fragrance, which this is not. Now for the creme brulee in here. I love me some creme brulee as well, okay? Come on, it's, it's gorgeous dessert, yeah? But somehow the herbalness, herbalness, is herbalness a word? But somehow the herbal qualities of the patchouli is turning the creme brulee on my skin sour. I don't want to say like vomit, but like sour milk. Listen, this fragrance is doing up her madness. Let's go down to the dry down, shall we? Yes. You guys remember in the beginning when I said that the rum isn't golden yet? This is where it gets golden because now is when the brown sugar decides it wants to be progressive. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So imagine heating up and melting some brown sugar and then pouring the white rum in there, yeah? Now that white rum is now golden. So the screechiness is gone and you're now left with this smooth, not molasses, but like this smooth caramelized golden rum. There's a warmth coming from the boozy caramelized golden rum that goes hand in hand with the amber that's in the dry down. In the final stage of Vanilla Royal, there's this massive cloud of musk that contains the dry down of a more tolerable patchouli, faint leather and oud, and that's all boiling down in a delicate pot of suffocated vanilla. I won't lie to you, the complete dry down for this fragrance is okay, yeah? Because this is where you get the sweet vanilla -y scent coming through. There's sweetness in the opening, but as I said, and the middle as well, but as I said, it's suffocated, yeah? But in the dry down is where they're trying to come out. You can still smell that they're being stifled, but you can smell them. I don't know about you lot, but testing fragrances for me is an experience. Yes, an experience. I want to enjoy the top, the heart and not only just the dry down. Does that make sense? Vanilla Royal dabbles between moderate and strong sillage 
with a six hour longevity before becoming a skin scent. And even though a skin scent, you can still get whiffs of it throughout the course so that you're wearing it. Do I think Vanilla Royal Sugared Patchouli 64 is a safe blind buy? No. The patchouli in here is extremely strong. And if you're not a patchouli lover, you're going to find the patchouli in here rather repulsive. Would I purchase a full bottle? No, this scent isn't for me, but that doesn't mean it's not for you. Go out and test this fragrance for yourself. This is my review, my take. So if I should rate this on a scale of one to like, because this is not a love for me, I'm gonna give Vanilla Royal a, a three. Yeah, a three out of 10. Vanilla Royal to me has a weird opening, a stifling middle, but a tolerable dry down. I'm not gonna lie, looking at the notes, I assumed this was gonna be something, something else. Yeah, I was expecting more because I saw all those vanillas, I saw the creme brulee, you know, I saw the golden rum, I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be a banger. But when I smelt it, I was, I was let down. Yeah, I was let down. This is a very complex scent, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe even too complex for my novice nose to appreciate, but there's so many layers in this fragrance. There's so many layers to peel back. And at one point I was thinking no one is working together. Everyone was just standing on their own and nothing was being blended seamlessly. And the vanillas for me that was supposed to be the forefront of this fragrance, they were being stifled by the strong notes of the patchouli, you know, the oud and the smoky leather. I just wanted this because as they said, it was supposed to be an intense version or intense take on the vanilla 28. I just wanted them to focus on the vanillas. Does that make sense? I wanted that to be the forefront of the fragrance. But the forefront of this fragrance is the patchouli. Yes, I know that patchouli is in the name, but it's the last name. The first name of this fragrance is vanilla. I understand that my reviews might be different from others, but please understand that we all have different sense of smells, yeah? We all have different body chemistries, and I think this is gonna be my saying from now on, I'm not wrong, and you're not wrong either, yeah? Or bodies just pull different scents. We all can't smell the same things and like the same fragrances. That would be boring. Very, very boring, yeah? Mm -hmm. So just to reiterate, weird opening, stifling middle, but a tolerable dry down. This is Vanilla Royal Sugared Patchouli 64. Well, there you have it, my loves. That's my review on the new release from Kali. I hope I did my Instagram baddies proud because you guys were the one that requested me to do this video. So I hope I did you guys proud. Yeah? Yeah. This is where I say my goodbyes, my love. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. But before you go, don't forget to give me a thumbs up by clicking that like button. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this perfume. Have you smelt it? Are you planning on buying it? What are your thoughts on the new Kaoli release? Share this video with a mate. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye.